Hello and welcome to this channel. Today's discussion would be all about firearms. And one firearm in particular that's so infamous. It was manufactured in the millions. It has participated in almost all global conflicts, whether national or international. This firearm has stood the test of time. And up to this very day, it is still being used by guerrilla forces, rebels, and even kept as private owned firearms. I am talking about perhaps the best firearm, the best assault rifle ever introduced because of its durability, reliability, and compatibility. I am talking of course of the AK-47. The AK-47 borrows its design from Hugo Schmeiser's Sturmgewehr 44. Sturmgewehr 44 was the first modern assault rifle to be fielded in a massive scale during World War II. The designer of the AK-47, a tank sergeant by the name of Mikhail Kalashnikov, worked alongside Hugo Schmeiser. He borrowed the recoil and gas operating system from Schmeiser and incorporated it in the AK-47. The AK-47 uses 7.62 round. It operates in full automatic and semi automatic. This assault rifle is durable and reliable. Why? Because even if you're going to throw it in mud, if you're going to expose the internal parts of this firearm in sand, grime, rust, water, it will still work. That is the testament, the true testament of reliability and durability ever seen in a modern firearm. Even though this firearm was introduced in the 1947, still it is being upgraded and updated. One particular upgrade is the AK-74, which was introduced in the year 1974 and a shorter variant the AKS 74U now how about compatibility I mentioned compatibility earlier on this firearm is so unique because it has interchangeable parts what do I mean by interchangeable parts? It has stamp parts, meaning since it is mass produced by various countries all over the world, if you're going to get a Romanian AK-47, you're going to get parts from a Bulgarian AK-47, you're going to get another part from a Russian AK, combine it all into one, and it will work. Unlike other modern firearms today that... It is much more complicated when it comes to parts, making it much more harder for the soldier to operate and make use in the modern battlefield. Back in Vietnam War, the AK-47 outperformed its rival, the M16, because the M16 kept getting jammed kept getting failed uh, feeds through the chamber. There's always this failure to feed of the round into the chamber, jamming the firearm besides the dirt and the mud in the forests of Vietnam. All of that were crucial. Soldiers were not able to operate properly. 
their firearm basically failed them. But thank God, the M16 was upgraded. But enough of the M16. The AK basically kicked the M16's butt in Vietnam War during Vietnam. And uh, the AK is truly a bad guy gun. You can see it in the movies. You can see it in video games. Good guys will carry the M4, the M16, while bad guys, mostly terrorists, will carry AK for the AK-47. The AK is tough, durable, reliable, and compatible. What else can we say about this firearm? Even though it has bad connections with the USSR, but when it comes to functionality, when it comes to it as a firearm, It is safe to say that it can outperform almost, not all, but most modern day weapons. Thank you for participating in this discussion and I hope that uh, you would participate in future discussions such as this. If you have any uh, uh, input, if you have any comments, then just Comment in the comment section below and we can have our, uh, I can respond and we can have our discussion. So thank you and good day.